Hello, denizens of the internet. So we're, we're nearing the end of 2023 and Disney has been banging on about the 100 year anniversary of Disney, perhaps the most important entertainment property in the world. And I have only one question. Where the hell is Walt? You know who I'm referring to? The guy who started your company? The guy with the last name Disney? The guy who first drew Mickey Mouse? Okay, that, that wasn't Walt, it was Oob Iwerks. But that's not the point. Sure, this has been a disaster of a year for you in the parks and on the screen, but these kinds of special events are usually planned many years in advance. I would have had this on the docks at least five or six years ago, and all it seems we got with this anniversary promo corporate film that had a ton of Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar stuff in it with a few quotes from the man himself. Oh, a, a statue at Disneyland Hong Kong, some OK merch, and an ABC Dancing with the Disney Stars special? Oh, and Wish, a movie that was supposed to celebrate the composition of When You Wish Upon a Star, written by Lee Harlan and Ned Washington for Pinocchio. Wish! A movie so bad, so ill-conceived, so rushed that it tanked badly at the box office. That was your celebration? This was supposed to be the pointed end of the hundred years of Disney Spear? The live-action Pinocchio was also a horrible mess, by the way. And let's briefly talk about the live-action Snow White. Why wasn't it planned to hit the theaters this year? Why wasn't this remake Disney's biggest deal? Dear Lord, it's the movie that launched Disney, that saved Disney. It was revolutionary. It was well-loved. So not only was this remake not available, you hired an actress that could not stop for one moment and celebrate its significance. I'm not going to go into all the Rachel Ziegler stuff. We're all tired of hearing from this know-nothing bag of water. And finally, the simplest thing, the website. First of all, it's a wretchedly dull website. And look at the homepage. Where is Walt? This is just supposition, but I think the social justice warriors, the flying monkeys, the cancel pigs running your place hate Walt. Much the same way they hate the people who created Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar. The most heinous crime, of course, being all white straight men. I could certainly imagine the lobbying going on inside Disney when someone must have brought up the idea of celebrating the guy whose name adorned their paychecks. There would have been shrieks of anguish. None of the kids working at the place care to bear jamborees about him. Just look how bad he's missing in action. I can't think of a different explanation. ABC should have been running wall-to-wall -wall Disney retrospectives. All the big movies that made Disney famous should have hit the theaters. They did in a sprinkling way, but not widely. Oh, I know why you didn't do that. Because they're better than all the shit you're producing lately. And you don't waltz old stuff showing you up. Could it have been an error that everyone had been so busy that they just forgot about Walt and the 100th anniversary? Oh, yeah, it could have happened. But then I'd have fired all the people who should have been pushing this. Where's the PR department? Where's the, where are the promo people? Where are the specials featuring all the actors who were in the early Disney movies talking about what it's like? Get Kurt Russell for crying out loud. Oh no, you can't because he's a right-wing MAGA guy. Of course, of course you couldn't use him. I I'm not getting this antipathy towards Walt. You haven't done anything else to raise your broken ass image. Why not trot out the old guy and build a campaign around him? I know why. Because you hate him. The incompetence of Disney continues to amaze me. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you. Bloody hell.